shy. What would have happened? All right, now that I got, you know, the front all cleaned up and power washed, now I am going to reapply my home defense, which is the ortho insect killer 12 month protection. I'm just reapplying it because I don't know if I washed it away, you know, from doing this whole clean. So this is just a way to stay protected. It says 12 months, I don't know, maybe six months. They added, you know, if you do it every six months one, you won't forget to do it on that 12th month. And at least then it makes sure that you're good. So yeah, so I'm gonna put this stuff out it says for indoor and perimeter refill. It's because you can use it inside or outside. It, it's not. Yeah. So yeah, for use where indoors, blah blah blah, garages and everything. So I already put a, a layer on where my garage door goes, and I'm using my Ryobi 18 volt sprayer. So just use this little wand powered and spray. I know you can buy like these with its little battery powered ones, but I don't know, I've had issues with those in the past where they stop working and you're like, well, what the heck, you know? So I got this thing and this thing works pretty dang good. And then all I gotta do is buy refills and there you go. Cause it's cheaper to buy the refill than the one with the wand. Yeah, I'm
earlier than I like to be up right now. Well, I shouldn't say that. Not earlier than I like to be up. This is normal time I like to be up. However, not normal time. I like to be out of the house. <laughs> but I had my doctor's appointment yesterday and they gave me labs that I need to get done. So I'm going to do that this morning because you were supposed to do it fasted. So it just makes sense to get it done right away in the morning um, and trying to do it later in the day and not eat and whatever. So that is what I'm doing this morning. Um, we did not schedule the C-section, which is fine. Like we've got time. Um, so I can't even keep the secret from you guys cause I don't have a secret to keep. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get this done. Everything yesterday at the doc. Oh, so it was funny because so early in pregnancy when they can't find the heartbeat, it can be very nerve wracking with the Doppler. Yesterday, however, he couldn't find the heartbeat. And I was just laughing because every time he moved the Doppler, little Bean was do like swimming to the other side. I could feel him moving, him, she, he, Bean, whatever, uh, moving around <laughs> so it wasn't nerve wracking because I knew the baby just did not like wherever he was pushing on my stomach and was moving away from it so it took a good like five minutes which doesn't seem that long but when normally they like put it on and find it like instantly five minutes is a long time it took a good five minutes of him moving to finally have baby sit still long enough to actually register the heart rate and everything. I found that funny. I, like I said, I was laughing. And when he was done, he's like, yep, everything looks good. He's like, other than baby not wanting to cooperate this morning. I'm like, yep, I could feel that. Son, I've been stabbed. <laughs> I didn't pass out when there. I don't do usually well with, it's not just needles, it's anything. Um, I don't know what it is, but I didn't pass out, so that's good. And yeah, but I don't know what's going around on right now, like in the world, but literally as I was driving here, my mom tells me how like there's something going on with the airlines, our uncle's having a hard time, he's trying to get back to Daytona. And there's something going on with airlines. I have been having issues since yesterday with uploading a video that was actually supposed to go live today. Luckily, I had a backup video already uploaded. So, but literally, um, on the Living with Cambridge channel, it's supposed to take... Normally, my videos take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to upload, but usually closer to that 30 minute mark. I started uploading it yesterday at 5 p.m. This morning at 5 a.m. It was at 10% only. So, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But then LabCorp, all their computers are down too. So it was a little bit longer of a wait because they're doing everything by hand. But I don't know what's going all on. All right, got a quick basic grocery haul. I'm re um, restocking some of our cheese. Got some imitation crab meat. I plan on doing crab salad one of these days. I love keeping this in the fridge just for nights that I want a quick and easy dinner. Those always make it really nice. This is actually for tonight. I'm thinking about doing a uh, shrimp scampi with some garlic bread and then some vegetables. So I got some spinach, peas and carrots, peas, corn, uh, peppers and onions, Got some tomatoes. Ooh, I got the hiccups. <laughs> um, if you guys haven't noticed, my nails have been looking horrendous. Uh, I never do my nails. And I had no nail polish remover. So, 
I had to get some of that so that I could at least get it to not look so janky and take this nail polish off. Um, got some chicken, some mayonnaise, and some milk. And then these I just wanted to see if the kids enjoyed or not. However, it came in a much smaller package than I was expecting. All right. Well, I'm going to the pool store. I want to check the chemical levels in the pool. So I go to um, Pinch a Penny. Um, they'll do a water test, tell you exactly what you need. And if you don't have it, you know, you just obviously buy it right there. So um, got a trailer that's broken down right here on the road. But yeah, so I got one bottle and they give you the bottles one for the spa and one for the pool so it'll tell me exactly what i need to put in right now our pool and spa are clear we just changed the water on the spa so it's just mainly just making sure that water level is good but since the kids were in it and everything they already got it dirty so now i just want to make sure my chemical level is good so they add it the water stays good because you got to change your water in those spas every it depends you know like for our spot says every three months did we keep the water in there for four months yeah we did um and then they'll tell you like that's the reason why i'm like all right i gotta change it because i was adding more and more chemical to try to keep the water clean and right on the bottom of the little sheet it said recommend changing the water high amounts of hard hard contaminants deposits whatever so i'm like all right let's change it but yeah that's it's what's nice is they'll tell you what you need and you know like i got a spa kit so it's just a matter of all right what do i need okay cool i pour this in pour this in boom Pinch Penny also has where you can have them come to your, to your house and they have people that'll, you know, clean your pools, maintain your pools. I don't do that. So I'd rather do it myself. That way I know, hey, water looks good or it looks bad. What do we need to do? So it's one way to save money, do it yourself. That's where I'm going right now. take a nap together. No, we find one out okay. cake. Okay, so lucky. How's my teeth me? How's so scary? How's my get me? You can't. You're, you're silly. Yeah. Mama's tired. What? Out. Can I sleep on you? No. No. Don't get right here. How's my ah? Uh, How's my back? We'll cuddle. Mm -hmm. And I lay on for you. Mm -mm. No? Oh. Did Mama take a nap though? No. No? Mama's tired. <laughs> no. Do you know how hard it is to grow a baby? Mama's sleepy. How? How? The oh. baby makes Mama tired. Baby, mommy, mom, tired. Oh, the baby definitely makes mama tired. 
And then I got you and your brothers, and you make me tired too. No. No? I think so. Can I take a nap? All right, so five days since I last came here, and that's when I last added chlorine. Both pools say they have no chlorine. So now I gotta go ahead. And I remeasured our pool by their website standards of how you measure gallons. Ah, I just got it! Um, clear. Um, and yeah, I was under on the amount. When we were doing the chemical checks, they were measuring it for 12,700 gallons. Yeah, I'm closer to 15,500, just under that. So now, at least when I add, it'll be more accurate when they do their, their little uh, science test, chemical science project test thingy. Yeah, it's, oh no, chemistry test. Wait, is that chemistry? Yeah, I think chemistry. Their little chemistry setup. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sprinkler got me all wet. Looks like it pissed my pants. It'll dry quick. All right, so this is what the readouts look like. Uh, this one's for the spa, and this one is for our pool. After doing uh, on Pinch and Penny's website, measuring the pool, I was actually, last time uh, I did it, I was actually under on the gallons, on how many gallons it is. I thought it was like 12,700 gallons. After redoing it, the way they said to do it on their website, we're closer to 15,500. So now we're gonna get the chemicals adjusted for definitely more gallons. Um, and I'm not gonna add, it says add chlorine. I'm not gonna add that now. I'm gonna wait until later because that's sunny out and I don't know if the kids are gonna swim. So what I will do is I will make sure the tablets in the duck are good. I'm gonna check the, the skimmer and I want to put the robot in and let him vacuum. So then for the spa though, I need to do these chemicals and you can see like the readouts. It gives you all this stuff. Uh, basically both pools need chlorine. So I'm going to do this, a little bit of pH up, chlorine free oxidizer, and then we need more calcium in the spa. So yeah, this is what what they give you and they tell you exactly what you need to put in your pool based on what you tell them so now they have the correct gallons i know my spa was 200 because when we bought it, it you know it says right on the box so and then i did need to pick up some calcium booster for the spa so now i'm going to just do the little bit of stuff and then i'll add chlorine later and the spa i mean looks good minus when me and the kids were in it they got it dirty even though I just changed the water like two weeks ago. But we're gonna we're gonna do the chemicals and everything. I already did the chlorine tablets. They go in that little guy down there. But I'm gonna pull off the filter, clean that. You know, all your normal stuff. So I try to at least do a water test once or twice a week just to make sure my chemicals are good. It was five days since I last tested the water and it says there's no chlorine in there. So with both of them. So yeah i'm gonna i'm just gonna do my pool maintenance and make sure and then i'm gonna take every time i usually do the any like once a week i try to take the filter out clean that just to make sure it stays good and you know same with the skimmer i do need to take the filter off, apart on the pool though and clean that so today we're gonna do a little bit of pool maintenance and then i might cut the grass it's kind of long cut all the ducks out there but yeah, so we'll work on that. What are you doing in there, shark? Get out of there. Well, I guess we can see how warm it is. 
My pool is 90 degrees right now. Get him out of there. Got a couple of bugs and sh Nick in the skimmer. Come on, get in there. I hope I didn't get him. I usually like getting the bugs out because then the ducks will eat them, even if they're dead.
you want? <laughs> I was trying to sleep. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Bailey? Hi. You better have a good reason for waking me up. Oh, like some got, treats or something. You got slobber all over yourself. Ew. <laughs> Yeah? You know? How you doing? I'd be doing better with a treat. Did I wake you up? Yeah, Dad. Why are you being a jerk? I guess we could call it even if you keep petting me. Yeah, baby boy. <laughs> big boy. Big, big boy. With your big teeth. <sighs> Quit showing everybody <laughs> that I brush. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're so big. Heavy. Yeah, I work out. Look at that big belly. It's not that big for my size. What do you call me, fat? No. You just want some pets? Sure do. It's hot outside. I know, that's why I'm inside. Don't be getting fresh on me. That's my butt. Oh, you didn't like me stopping? No, I want more. <laughs> love me, love me. <laughs> I see. Ah, oh, that's nice. Keep going, keep going. Mom, don't tell Minnie she's going to want some. <laughs> ah. What are you doing? I want to kiss. Give me a kiss. All right, so now we got to clean this filter. Easiest way to do that is let the air, the pressure out of the system. Manual valve. Get all the air out. It'll be easier for me to release the water and break the seal if there's not a bunch of air pressure. Kind of hear the water moving around in there. So then, <clears throat> screwdriver. Now this, this is a, like a, well you'll see, a multi-filter setup. It's a Hayward. Here, I'll show you. It's a Hayward ProGrid filter system. Um, ours is this one right here. The DE3620. So, you stick the screwdriver in there. That at least loosens it. So then you can just turn it off, get it with your hand. Boom! Water! So let all that out. You notice from when I clean when I change that pump and all that stuff, now we don't got all this growth and anything. So keeping the growth away. Let all the water out. Then I'm gonna use my rail bay <laughs> impact. This is a medium strength impact. 916. Let's do stick that sucker on here. She comes apart. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Ooh, she's hot though. Be careful. Oh yeah, it's hot. That's hot. Anything in Florida, any metal in Florida is gonna be hot. Especially during the summer. Oopsie. <laughs> So now we got that off. Don't lose your parts. All right. Get my seal on down here. There she goes. Then I should be able to just lift off the top and dirty. So then this just pulls out. Uh, but you can see this stuff is caked on today. 
this thing is dirty. Um, the pressure valve didn't really show it to be horrible. It just showed it needed to be cleaned. So now I got to pop this guy out and Xander's going to do the washing. O-ring still looks good in there. But yeah, this thing is dirty. Holy cow. But yeah, it's a multi-piece filter system. Um, ugh, it's just all slimy. Gross. So now I gotta take this apart so Xander can clean it. But yeah, that's what it looks like inside. Got the uh, gasket and everything, but that's the inside of what this looks like. And that's the filter housing. Yeah. Once everything's drained out, put your plug back in. And then I just snug it with the screwdriver. There we go. So now once the filter's clean, I can put it back together and let it rip. How big these babies are getting. Yeah. Little help. Little, yeah, they're still little guys. Yeah, baby. So Xander with Mama Duck, Xander's the only one that can just pick these babies up. She likes him enough, or she won't attack them. Oh, well, maybe, maybe a little bit if you get too close. But those other ones you were able to pick up, she didn't even do anything. Yeah, they're real far away, but it's all good. Hi. Look at these little guys. They're so cute. I know. Look at them raptor feet. Yeah, make sure to pet them or else they freak out. Yeah. Some of them are better at being healthy than Yeah, babies. You guys eating? Finding some foods? Yep. That would be cool if we could get a purple baby. Purple baby? Hi, baby. I'm pretty sure they can get a shade of purple on oh. their feathers when they go up. Can they? Oh. Some sort of purple. Can I pet you, Mama? Don't touch oh, my butt. Oh, see, she don't want one. Want me to pet her? Ah, uh, what the hell's going on? Wait, don't, don't, oh, uh, look at that, Mama. Uh, uh, uh. That's what you're getting. At? It's okay, Mama. It's okay. Hey, it's okay, baby. You know we won't hurt you or your babies. We we want you to have these babies. Yeah, but we also like to pet you and the baby. Yeah, we want to hold you too. You're all the babies. <laughs> all right, so you got to clean this thing. This thing's nasty. Look at how nasty. It's all slimy. What did you kids put in the pool that it filtered? It's nasty. It is nasty today. Yeah, look at that. Time, so. You can't snap. You can't do the magic without snapping. Snap. Go. You can't can't do this the whole time. 
and you got to snap. Try it again. <laughs> you can't snap. All right, I'll do, I'll do it for you. You got to go back over there, though, so we can make this magic happen. Ready? Here we go. So, I finished all of the filter cleaning. And now we have to put it back in place. Yep. Else it won't really clean the pool from here. Yep. Freya, were you giving them duck treats? Yeah. Were you giving the duck treats? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at them all over there. All right. No. Let's put this back together. Come on. Close the valve, and then we gotta prime the system. Just pull that off. All right, well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> all right, we got the system all up and running, so now we're gonna check our gauge. And yep, that looks like a good position for a clean filter. You want it between five and 10, uh, closer to five right after it's clean. I also went through and labeled all my pipes, so now I know what these valves control. And I actually, messing with these valves, I saw, found out something really cool. I found out I can turn up the jets that uh, feed where you sit down on the stairs so you can get like a back massage. So check this out. Only took two years of living in this house to figure this out. <laughs> well, that's our show, folks. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the like and uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you thought. If you got any questions, you know, you can answer them. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'm just going to enjoy these jets and uh, keep on swimming. We'll see you next time. Bye. Quack, quack.